Hello, what's up, guys? Welcome back with me again, Xavki. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to make or how to create a custom particle like Sword Art Online on After Effect. First thing first, you need to create a new solid layer. After that, you need to put on some what I call it fractal noise. Okay, after you put this fractal noise, don't forget to change your your practical noise settings just follow me okay after you do this uh, you'll get uh, same thing like me like this okay all right uh, so you need to animate the evolution you need to add some what I call it expression okay okay you need to type time asterisk 1000 this expression will make your evolution settings go into one mm, I don't know it's times by a thousand every frame I think so whatever uh, after you do this it will be looking fast as hell but we we don't want this we will add another effect called posterize time okay we will limit the frame of this video into seven frame per second so it will look much more slower than before Okay, after you do this, you need to wait. I will cut this layer. Mm, you need to add some tint so you can eliminate all the colors you don't want to. I'll make this into a green and white so I could remove the green layer so the white layer will be transparent. Mm, okay. Make it like this, maybe like this. So I like the white, it's much more than the green one. Okay, so I need to crep to pre comb this, uh, pre, pre comb this layer and change the resolution of the the you know, change the resolution of the comb that you have been made before need to set this into 500 by what is it 300 or something else uh, no I mean 300 by 4 500 like this okay uh, after we do this we need to add some something to eliminate this color I'll be using key like Okay, okay, like I'll remove the green color from the green screen so it'll be white only. Mm, I'll make this layer transparent so you can you could you guys could see you guys can see this that this layer is white only colored. Okay, after we do this we need to add some glow effect. Put some nice glow effect on here. Mm, yeah, I think this is nicely done for, by now. I mean, look at this. This is nice. Or if you want to add the glow later, you can just delete the glow here. And we add some new layer. Uh, we'll be using this. I forgot to mention that we'll be using this layer for a texture composition. So we'll need to add some solid layer. A new solid layer and add effect called partic particular. Yeah, you need to install the trap code family or whatever trap code plugin if I remember correctly. Yeah, trap code particular and make this into a custom layer. I'll be using the texture polygon with colorize. Yeah. And I'll be using this white comb, name and texture. 
After we remove that way, we can just disable this. We we hide this composition, okay? Mm, and select the texture layer for your your layer. Yeah, whatever. I mean, I don't know what to do, but this is how you do this. You need to you, you need to resize the the settings just follow me i don't know what to do okay make sure you set the aspect ratio into to mm. i set the whole velocity to zero uh, i mean no Let's make this box okay. Is it cool? No, it is not. I probably make the concept to let be a mistake, so I'll set this solid layer size into what is it? 300 by 500, if I remember correctly. Okay. Okay, I mean this one. This is what, this is the thing that I want to show you guys mm. exercise this into whatever scale 200 yeah this looking good this looking good already so you you need to add some wait there's too much particle in it. Set this into 15 maybe. Yes, 15 is good. And set this air. And make the wind go up. Mm -hmm. Like this. And get to... Uh, Set the mirror size into something that you want to be. Mine just go into same as the resolution of this composition. Okay, it's already looking good, but not really. There's too much particle in it. Hmm. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Okay, I need to set the trap button. Hmm. okay so as i mentioned earlier you need to add the glow effect to make it even cooler than before so i'll be using the glow effect in this white solid or the same the same layer as i use a particular effect nah fuck this man I'll be using deep glow. It's a lot of easier to use. Yes, this one. Like this.
Hmm. Set the random opacity into zero, man. Okay, I think that's it. Okay, that's it. Let's go. Cool. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.